In this video, I'll be using equations to solve percent problems, these short sentences that involve percentages. You could also use proportions to solve these type of problems. I prefer equations unless we're asked to find what percent, and in that case I do prefer the proportion. I'll come back to that after I've done the problem with an equation. With these problems, I'll first show the direct translation in orange, and then I'll write the equation in black. So for what number, we'll use our trusty variable x. The word is is equivalent to an equal sign. 62%, I'm going to convert that to decimal form right away. So you move the decimal away two places if you get rid of the percent sign. And then of 75 means you're going to multiply by 75. So I use parentheses to indicate. A number next to parentheses, of course, indicates multiplication. Now, it might look a little strange all stretched out, so I'll write my equation in black. With this particular one, it's already solved for x. We just have to do the multiplication. And because there's two decimal places, you come in two decimal places. So the result of this multiplication is 46 and 5 tenths. I bring down the x and the equal sign. So what this says is that 46 and 5 tenths is 62% of 75. Looking at this one, I'll convert this to decimal right away. I'm just going to write it as 0.3 and drop the trailing zero. Of what number? So that's times some number is 45. So here's our equation. I'll rewrite it with everything close together. I just stretch it out to show exactly what comes from what. And to get x by itself, we'll divide each side by 0.3. Of course, that divides out right away, but here we've got to do the long division. So the result of 45 divided by 0 0.3 is 150. I always bring down the equal sign and my variable. So what this says is that 30% of 150 is 45. Looking at this one, 14 is, for what percent, I'm just going to put an x, but I'm going to have to keep up with this. Um, they're asking for a percentage, and I'm just going to give a number. We'll have to convert it to a percent of 20. So it'll be x times 20. Again, a variable next to a number means to multiply. Now I'll write the equation the way it usually looks, which would be 14 is equal to 20x. And you need to get rid of this 20. So we'll divide each side by 20. These 20s divide out. We've got to do some long division. These numbers aren't bad, so I'll just do the long division, but if it occurs to you, you could reduce by a factor of 2. You would have 7 over 10, and then your division would be even easier. So the result of this division is 7 tenths. So we figured out what x is, but they've asked for a percentage. We haven't taken care of the placement of the decimal for a percentage. So in order to put in a percent sign, I have to move the decimal two places to the right. So I have to put in a zero here to hold this place. Now I can put in a percent sign. 
So what this says is that 14 is 70% of 20. I mentioned at the beginning that I prefer proportion if they say what percent. Because if you remember when we had a proportion, we didn't move a decimal. We took care of the placement of the decimal by saying divided by 100. That's what the percent sign means. But that's when we're setting it up as a proportion. With an equation, when I put in this x, I didn't do anything to account for it being a percentage. So after I've solved for x, in order to put in a percent sign, I have to move the decimal two spaces towards the percent sign. I'm going to suggest that you pause the video and try setting up these three equations. Do not worry about solving them. So this would be 0.62 of 75 is what number? So we would write that a little closer together. For this one, 45 is 30%, that's 0.3, can drop that trailing zero, of what number? And then I'll write it a little closer together. And for the last one on this page, for what percent, I'll just use a x of 20, means times 20, is 14. And I'll write it so it looks more like a normal equation. Usually we write 20x equals 14. You can see that the way the sentences are worded is a little bit different. But essentially we end up with the same equations, so we would get the same answers. That's why I'm not going to bother to solve them. In this equation, we have a mixed number percentage, and it's so easy to work with decimals. I'm just going to convert this to a decimal right away. So 3.5 is the same as 3.5. Now I haven't moved the decimal. I've just rewritten 3.5. So I have to keep up with my percent sign for now. All right, I'll start with a translation to an equation. So 3.5% is the same as 0 0.035 of 40 means times 40 is, that's our equal sign. And then for what number? That's our x. I'll write this close together as an equation is usually written. And again here, it's already solved for x. We just have to multiply 0 0.035 times 40. So the result is 1.4. I'm going to drop those trailing zeros. So what this says is that 3.5% of 40 is 1 and 4 tenths. Looking at this problem, we'll simply bring this number down. I drop the leading zero. Is, that's our equal sign. 2.1%, I'm going to write that as just a decimal, so 0 0.021 of what number means times some number. And I'll just rewrite this. You want x all by itself. We'll divide each side by 21 thousandths. These divide out. Here we've got to do some long division. Twenty-one goes into seventy-one. Again, I'm thinking of 2 goes into 7 3 times, so I'll try 3 times 21.
So the result of this division is 34. Bring down your equals and your variable. So what this says is that 714 thousandths is 2.1 percent of 34. Looking at this sentence, for what percent, I'm just going to put an x of 3 means times 3 is, and then 5.1. Usually we write 3x equals 5.1. Solving for x. 3's divide out. We have some long division. So the result of this division is 1 and 7 tenths. Bring down your equals and your x. We've solved for x, but we haven't taken care of the percentage. So I need to convert 1.7 to a percentage. That is, I need to put in a percent sign. So I move the decimal two places towards the percent sign. I'll need a zero to hold this last place and then put in the percent sign. So what this says is that 170 percent of three is five and one tenths. That makes sense. It's over 100 percent and we went from three up to 5.1. With these three sentences Instead of just referring to numbers in the abstract, we're speaking specifically of birds or money or students, but we solve them much the same way. 120%, I'll rewrite that as 1 and 2 tenths. I like to drop that trailing zero. Of 241 means times 241. Is, that's your equal sign. For how many birds, I'm just going to put a variable. Now I'll write this a little closer together. We've already solved for x. All we have to do is multiply. So we end up with 289 and 2 tenths. They said round to the nearest number of birds, so we'll round down to 289. So instead of equals, I'll say is approximately equal to x, and this is really 289 birds. So what this says is that 120% of 241 birds is 289 birds. So I'll rewrite 2.5% as 2.5%, just so I have a decimal instead of a mixed number. And now to write the equation, I'm going to get rid of the percent sign. So you have 0 0.025 of what amount, that's our variable, is $1.60. I can just write that as 1.6. I can drop that trailing zero. If you want to keep up with it, you can. It's just a little more work. So putting things a little closer. We want x by itself. These divide out. We have some long division. So the result of this division is 64. We're talking about money, so it's $64. Bring down the equals and the x, so we have 2.5% of $64 is $1.60.
looking at the last sentence, 35 students, I'll just put 35, is, that's our equal. For what percent, I'll put an x, but we'll have to deal with the percentage when we get our answer. And then of 14 students means times 14. I'll write this closer together. Divide each side by 14. 14's divide out. Over here, we've got to do some long division. If you happen to notice, you could divide by 7 and divide by 7 before you even get started. Your life would be a little easier. You would have 5 over 2, and that's pretty easy division. I figure that won't occur to most people, so I'll just do long division with this. So the result of this division, whether or not you reduced first, is 2 and 5 tenths. Again, we solved for x, but it says what percent. So I have to change this to a percentage. It means I'll move the decimal two places towards the percent sign, and I'll need a 0 to hold the 1's place. So we have 35 students is 250% of 14 students. If you would like some practice with these concepts, as long as you're at my website, I have a worksheet along with a detailed answer key.